Hi guys, welcome to Laptop Jewel. I am Tiffany. If you are a returning subscriber, listen, welcome back home. And then if you are new here, I hope you like what you see and you join this family that we've got here. So please just press the subscription button and then just press the notification bell so that every time I upload, you, yes, you get notified that listen, laptop you will just drop a new video. So obviously we're back in our normal setting, right? Um and yeah i was praying about a few things in my life um like i don't know a few weeks like a month ago right and it's like you know where you go through like certain i don't know phases of your life and you think and you you know and you meditate or and you like but god this is what's going on in my life and like you know and funny enough like i just I opened the Bible after pray, and God gave me this word, and I was like, "Wait, what is this word really regarding?" And then I woke up a few days ago, and obviously again I was tasked with in my emotions, guys. One thing about seeking God and being in His presence and quieting the noise. Okay, guys, if you guys hear dogs in the background, please just. Um, but one thing, like when you seek God and you kind of silence all the other noises, um, your flesh will, will, will want to, you know, overpower and overtake, but also the enemy as well, because you're in a quiet space and you want to hear from God and there can be a lot of attacks also that just come as well. Um, but funny enough, I think this time around there's just been it's been different but it's been challenging within dealing with a few things that I'm praying about and I've just been like whoa god like and then all these emotions just come and all these feelings just come and they just overwhelm you yeah it's been crazy but anyways and then and, and then I prayed because somehow God reminded me of that word that he had told me, right? And then I was like, okay, cool. And then I, I just mised it, right? And then sometime this week, um, I woke up and I was obviously just in my feelings and my emotions and whatnot. And I'm like, okay, God, I remember that word. But like, I'm not exactly sure where it was and what exactly, but I have an idea of what it said. And then eventually I found it and I was like, a word absolutely because i've been watching sermons also regarding something similar so basically enough rambling but basically i'm going to be speaking about the weight right and the weight in terms of like just like life in general like um whether you are waiting for god's promise in your career whether you're waiting for god's promise in your finances whether you are waiting for god to come through for your family whether you are waiting for god to um, heal you whether you are waiting for marriage whether you're waiting for children whether you're waiting for well, what brought this whole thought into motion as well was i was doing a, a devotional because i'm doing some devotional right now currently for, for, for the next few weeks and this word came in obviously i was like i was going through my emotions and then i get this word and then i'm reminded about the word that god gave me and then i'm like okay okay like mm. and i was just thinking like i feel like so many people like are going through something similar it might not be you it might be someone in your circle so if you feel like this is going to relate to someone please do share with them but yeah let's get into the word i've been speaking for a bit um so yeah um i'm gonna be sharing i'm gonna be talking about um genesis i'm gonna first read from genesis 25 right verse um 24 so i'm gonna, I'm gonna really read very quick just to, like get a you know okay. when 
the time came for her to give birth there were two boys in a womb the first to come out was red and he was and his whole body was a hairy garment so they named him isu right after this his brother came out with his hand grasping isu's heel so he was named jacob isaac was 60 years old when rebecca gave birth to them so this is about basically jake um isaac and rebecca's sons right and the boys grew up and Isu became a skillful hunter, a man of, of the open country while Jacob was content. He was content to stay at home among the tents, right? And then Isaac, who had a taste for wild game, loved Isu, which makes sense, right? But Rebecca loved Jacob, right? Once when Jacob was cooking some stew, this is, this is the part I'm going to be staying on staying on once when jacob was cooking some stew isu came in from the open country famished hungry he said to jacob quick let me have some of your race stew i am famished this replied first sell me your birth right guys imagine and you're willing to sell your birthright your birthright which could give help you get favor in your lifetime and you're willing to sell that for a moment of hunger and i want you guys to just think about that for a moment of hunger isu was about to sell his birthright and then he says verse 32 look i'm about to die he's like dude i am hungry i am about to die i am done like listen I, take whatever you need just give me food isu said what good is the birthright to me but Jacob said, swear to me first. So then he swore an oath to him, selling his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Isu some, some bread and some lentils to you guys. Imagine swapping your birthright for a little nyana, small nyana, lentil soup and bread. Ah, guys. So basically, within the mosaic, mosaic, um law right as firstborns they basically had like a birthright which gave them like privileges and i think just essentially like favor basically as the firstborn and he was like you know what i no mm -mm, i'm good i am choosing food over my birthright that can be an advantage for my lifetime this is why i want to talk about the weight that sometimes while we are waiting for God to do certain things, right, we tend to settle for the second best, right? If we look at, for example, Abraham and Sarah, right? God told, told Abraham that he will be the father of nations, but so many years, so many decades had, had, had passed, right? But the promise was still there right but then he basically i guess mized let's just use like a modern term i guess he basically mized god and was like actually you know what they've been waiting too long so him and sarah took the matter in their own hands and they basically got like another son carry back though you know if i can use such um and sometimes we want to settle for second base we want to settle for something that that seems like the promise but is not the promise Ooh. something that seems like a promise but is not so we settle for counterfeits hebrews 10 verse verse 34 to 36 34 you suffered along with those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property because you knew that you yourself had better and lasting possessions so sometimes the weight is hard sometimes the weight is 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 it's not easy it's difficult it is problematic there's a lot of challenges but once you have what is the goal in mind what is the promise of god like am i going to settle am i going to stop mid while waiting and then settle for something that is not god's best or am i going to wait for god's best regardless of the obstacles and the challenges verse 35 do not throw away your confidence for it will be richly rewarded and god reminded me when i was just going through all of this and he was like girl like where's your confidence like who are you trusting who are you believing in 
right and i want to encourage you i don't know what you're waiting for i don't know what you're trusting god for but like where is your confidence let your confidence be in the lord because it will be greatly rewarded right and then verse 36 this is this just yeah basically this was the verse you need to persevere so i'm here to tell you that challenges are gonna come problems are gonna come obstacles are gonna come counterfeits are also gonna come when you are full with emotions and feelings and whatnot and whatnot and it's gonna look like the promise but it won't be the promise i'm gonna i'm gonna repeat it's gonna look like the promise but it will not be the promise that god has given you right and i want to encourage you to persevere persevere and it says you need to persevere so that when you've done the will of god you will receive what he has promised and i was struggling with this because i was like god there's so much noise there's so much like everyone is just everyone has a bit to say and he was like girl listen i need you to be focused on what i said right i need you to be focused on what i said and i need you to focus on the will of god and sometimes it's so hard focusing on the will of god because the will of god seems so far-fetched or it seems so impossible because once you look at your circumstances it's just like will of god what i see will of god what i see but i want to encourage you do not let what you see um allow you or change the fact that you need to wait and persevere do not allow it to tempt you to settle for the second best wait on god trusting him and believe in his will for your life and understand that you need to persevere but persevere in him once you are in him you will receive what he has promised you and i'm going to end it off with hebrews 6 verse 15 which says and so after waiting patiently abraham received what was promised and yourself what god has said if we look at for example jesus you know jesus was sent here but he was given a mission he was like god gave him a mission right for to do the work of him that has sent him while it is still day and he could have easily been like but god like okay like when am i gonna see the actual fruition of what you have sent me right but it took him 30 odd years right i'm saying 30 odd years because of the other extra years added but it took him 30 odd years to die on the cross for you and that was one of his biggest purposes but while he was waiting for that he didn't stop. He didn't ask questions. He continued to trust God. He continued to allow himself to be used by God. So even in your waiting, even in your trusting, allow God to use you. Allow God to work in you. Allow God to work through you. Because it says that Abraham waited patiently and he received what God has promised you so i want to encourage you whatever you are waiting for whatever you are trusting god for trust him believe in him because he is faithful i am tiffany this is laptop jewel please make sure that you like share subscribe and join the notification gang by pressing the notification bell so that every time i upload you yes you get notified that laptop jewel just dropped a new video i love you guys so so much i hope this was a blessing to everyone and if you think there's someone that might think this please share with them and be a blessing to them as well Mwah.